Welcome back to Fixing Cars with 15th Street Automotive. Today's project is a 2001 uh, Dodge half-ton two-wheel drive. Uh, customer's concern is the uh, differential makes noise uh, as you are uh, accelerating uh, or cruising uh, at about 35 miles an hour. Uh, it's got a whine or a howl to it. So um, I've already driven it. Uh, confirm that the uh, differential makes noise. Um, I've actually already taken taken the cover off and uh, attempted to adjust uh, pinion backlash um, and it actually made it worse. So uh, the problem with this one is the ring and pinion is just wore out. So uh, you can follow along with me while I rebuild this differential. All right, so I've already taken the tires and wheels off uh, and the uh, brake drums off. Um, we'll need those off so that when we take the uh, uh, keepers out of the axles, we can pull the axles out. Um, so yeah, I take the tires and wheels off. Um, so let's uh, let's get that cover off and uh, see what we see. The fluid in here looks real clean just because uh, I just had to cover off. Um, I tried to adjust this thing and uh, um, you can't adjust worn out with gears so so we're stuck with replacing it. These are the adjuster keepers. So the adjusters are, are right in here and they're basically just great big nuts. So we gotta pull the drive line out to make you know, get access to those keepers. Now with the drive line out we can rotate this around to get that everything at an optimum position. So this slides up through there through the spider gears. So it centers the spider gears. It also keeps the axles right here, the axles there from sliding in too far. So now if I take the axle and I slide it in, you can see these keepers just pop out. So if that big pin wasn't there, you, would, uh, you wouldn't be able to keep these keepers in there. And these keepers would keep the axles from flying out when you're driving down the road. So if I push this axle in, you'll see it push in and that keeper just falls out. Keepers don't always fall out, but this one does. Now that we've got the keepers out of the axles, we can just pull the axles straight out. Just like that. All right, so now that we've got the axles out, we've got this carrier open now. We can take the, uh, the bearing caps off here, take out the, uh, uh, loosen the bearing adjusters, and this carrier will just fall right out. Now 
Now these caps are machined in to this carrier, so this cap has to be on this side and it has to face a certain direction. So if you look at it here, this is how I took it off. So the lettering faces that way. So as you can see this, this round nub right here, this uh, machine boss right here is more to the outside. So that's how we're gonna put it back on. Same with this one here. See it's that machine boss is more to the outside. So that's how that's how these go on. So you gotta keep these uh, keep these uh, side to side. So that one's gonna stay on that side, that one's gonna stay on that side. So if you look down there, you're looking down the uh, differential tube right now, uh, inside the uh, axle tube, you can see that nut, that hex nut, that's the adjuster for this, uh, for this uh, uh, side load. So there's a tool I can, I can uh, push down the axle tube that will adjust that back and forth. So here's that tool, that adjusting tool. It's just got a hex the same size as that nut in there, and it's long. It's not actually long enough, so you got to use a little extension on the side of it back here to, to uh, actually make it uh, uh, usable. But so we just stick this down here, down the tube. Just barely fits in there into that seal. Put our extension on there. So there we're, we're engaged into the nut. If we back the nut off a little bit. So we back both those nuts off. Now this thing slides out nice and easy. So the next thing to do is to uh, pull our pinion out. So we're going to start by pulling that pinion nut. There's a washer back behind there. Pull the yoke off. Pinion seal out of here. Outer pinion bearing. And then we'll pop the races out. All right, so I got those side bearings off, the side of the cups off, and as you can see in there, see how pitted they are? I mean, those are just tore up, both of them. Uh, more than likely, these sat on the bottom uh, in the gear lube, and the gear lube, uh, gear lube was pretty dirty on this thing, so um, yeah, those are tore up. 
So we're replacing those obviously. So now what we need to do is uh, we need to pull this bearing up and figure out what shim it is underneath there so we can, we're going to use the same shim. Um, there's ways of measuring for what shim you need, but every differential I've ever done, I've, uh, I've just reused the shim that's in there and it's always worked out. So uh, that's what we're going to do again today. So we don't need the crush sleeve anymore. This is the shim we're going to reuse. There's our new pinion. Okay, we're going to put that shim right there. Get here. And this one is the inner bearing. New nut and washer. Got a couple crushed sleeves right there. So that's going to get pressed on there. This is the outer pinion bearing. That's going to go right there. These are the differential side bearings. These are the ones that were all wore out I just showed you. This is the crush sleeve. So they give you two crush sleeves. So that goes there. This thing gets pressed there. For now, we're going to press that bearing down onto the pinion. Alright, so when I put these back together, I got the races in there. I'm going to put the outer pinion bearing in there and then put the seal on. And I do that because I want to just drive that in once. I want to just set that uh, bearing uh, pre preload once. So now I'll put my pinion in from the back. But see, I coat it with a little bit of grease just for a break in, just so that it doesn't run dry at all.
Well, that'll go through the back. Slide the yoke on there through the seal. Just get that thing started. Now I can use my gun to run that down and press that preload back, that pinion preload back in there and crush that crush sleeve. So now I can put my washer on there. Now I'm holding the back of that pinion to keep it from spinning. Okay, now it's all pressed in there, but the crush sleeve not quite crushed. Okay, so the preload on this thing is 10 to 20 inch pounds. And we go like that by putting the inch pound meter on here and seeing what it takes to turn it. So that's about one or two. Tighten that up a bit. Okay, that's right at 20. So that's good. That's all set. Okay, now that the uh, pinion's in, now we're gonna uh, rebuild the, the carrier. Uh, we're replacing the, uh, the ring, obviously. And I already pulled the bearings off using the same method that we used to uh, pull that pinion bearing off with our, with our uh, uh, bearing puller. Um, so those came off real smooth. Uh, they're in pretty pretty rough shape. Uh, you saw the uh, uh, the races all chewed up. Uh, the bearings match. So these are left-handed threads. So it's not righty tighty, lefty loosey. It's lefty tighty. So we are going to pull these bolts out. bolts away because we got new bolts to replace them with. Here is our new one. Here. 
these are not left-handed threads, these are right-handed threads. Nope, they are left-handed threads. They're not marked on there. Normally, left-handed threads don't have a good L right there. These ones don't. Tricky. I'm going to draw this ring in there with these bolts and then I'm going to uh, take the bolts out, lock tight them, and stick them back in there. drawn in there so we can pull these back out. go back in the hole. Torque those to the uh, 65 foot pounds is the torque spec on those. Okay, so uh, bolts are all torqued. Uh, I had to take it over to the vise to hold it, uh, so that's why I didn't get that filmed. But basically, they're torqued 65 foot pounds. Um, the uh, I got the bearings pressed on. Um, that's over at the press, so I didn't take the camera with me on that. But uh, basically, it's just pressed them straight on. 
um, I have some adapters that, that help to uh, connect with this, this uh, inner race here. Um, presses on there nice and even. Um, so everything's on, everything's tight. Uh, I put a little uh, uh, gear, gear grease or a, a bearing grease on the bearings just for help to help to the uh, uh, break in period. Um, we're going to put our outer races on here. And that thing's ready to go in. So we're gonna set that in there, just kind of get it bounced up there. We're gonna stick these caps on just so we don't have it fall out on us in the process of adjusting everything. Obviously that's way too loose, but now we're going to take our bearings, bearing adjusters, and our fancy tool here, and I'm going to go out to the sides and I'm going to just adjust those up a little bit. I think that side there is pretty close. I'm going to tighten this one down and we'll take a, a backlash reading. Okay, that's about 12 thousandths. We want 8 thousandths. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen that one a little bit and tighten that one, pushing the, dry, uh, the, the uh, carrier into the pinion, tightening that up. Thank you. 
doesn't take much. Watch this gauge. Each one of those tick marks is a, is a thousandth. That's exactly where we want it. Check our torque on these caps here. Okay, recheck our backlash, make sure it doesn't move with the uh, set of the cap torque. Perfect. Now these little brackets here, they bite into that adjusting nut and keep it from backing off. So those get torqued down. One over here. Okay. So as you can see here, get my light on there so you can see it. The axle sticking up through there. We're going to put the keeper in there. We're just going to push the axle straight up, and that recess in the, in the side gears here holds that that C clip. See the axle sticks out, stick the C-clip in there, and then you pull the axle back, and it holds in that recess. Now we're going to pull this, spin this around so we can get to our... pin retainer. Okay. Stick our pin in there, there's a hole there, that meets up with a hole right there, and that's what this bolt goes into. So. Slide that up in there, just like so. Stick our retaining bolt in there. Okay. So now if I spin this around, you can see that pin holds these spider bit spider gears and it also retains the axles. Okay, here goes full. Got the cover back on, obviously, and it's just below the level there, right where it's supposed to be. So, covers on, gear lubes in. I got the drive line on, <clears throat> tightened up and torqued. Uh, I'm going to put the uh, brake drums and the wheels back on, torque those, and then we'll be able to drive it and make sure it's fixed. All right, so we're uh, test driving this uh, truck with a differential, and it uh, quiet as a church mouse. Quiet when you accelerate, quiet, quiet when you decelerate, and quiet in cruise, which is what we like to see when we do a differential overhaul. So we're going to call this one a fix. Thanks for watching. We'll see you down the road.